And lo and behold, Troy has tagged me <laughs> in a message under a post from North Carolina State <laughs> Police <laughs> making people aware that they are working on a speed campaign yes. for, the, for the month of July. Mm-hmm. And he thought the best way to alert me of said situation was to tag me in this post and say, amen. With the federalities. With the federalities and say, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mel, check this out, bro. And then saying, he had the audacity to say, if I had Facebook, he would have tagged me, too. <laughs> I would have tagged you, too. <laughs> no, you wouldn't have. Look. <laughs> what that little boy say? Bullshit. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the cave with Mel, Troy, and Lex. The podcast with men to have a safe space. We on all platforms. If you need to tune in, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Welcome to Mel D. The podcast with men that that would make perfect sense. 7 p.m. Friday. 95 degrees. I ain't got no fucking no. I got me. Stepping on a throat. Breaking no. Yo, if Glorilla ran for president, I vote for her. Big Zah. Not me. Mm-mm-mm. Not me. <laughs> right. Why not Big Glow? Yeah, Glow. But I don't think everybody is meant to do politics, and I'm also against everyone feeling like celebrities should be spokespeople for all Black people when it comes to important issues mm-hmm. such as politics. Mm-hmm. Because you know, yeah, they make a little money. They entertain us. They make us laugh. They make music that we could be dancing to. But some some people just not equipped for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, type of conversation or their opinions and thoughts might not be in the lane that they need to be to well articulate for black people as a whole. Mm-hmm. So I would prefer most of them just be quiet mm-hmm. because it don't help us a lot of the time and it makes us look stupid and unorganized. And I don't know, bro. We just be all, we all be all over the place. It's just one thing black people can't seem to do and that's unify collectively in public. We're never like on one accord. And granted, everyone doesn't have the same opinion, so we there's opportunity for disagreement, but it's also like, let's do that behind the scenes. Like, let's agree in public and then disagree with each other outside of that so that we can at least look like a unified front. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times we can't do that because, you know, we got one group campaigning or their personal interests or whatever it is, and then you got another group that's worried about the collective. So then we, it's like we mm-hmm. can never just meet in the middle in public. So... Mm-hmm. I didn't uh, mean to start this conversation. No, no, no. That's I, that's, a, that's a great pre, great place to start the conversation. Um, it's your boy T. Dive Roy, your boy Melly. What's Mel. going on? It's Melly Mel, Life aka Life. Melly Badass, aka your favorite true teller, aka if you don't want to know, don't, don't ask, ask me. me. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy T. Dive Roy. Uh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> your local hope dealer. It's your boy T. Dive. It's your boy T. Dive Roy, your neighborhood hope dealer. If you need some hope, I got something you can borrow. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. AKA Safety Whistle Dot. dot. Safety bill, Whistle, safety bill, whistle, whistle Dot. dot. <laughs> what it do, though? It's your boy, Dr. Life Coach Lace, AKA NBA Old Boy, AKA I'm Him, AKA The Menace, No Relation to Dennis. Let's what we on it. today, Let's man? Let's get it. Let's get it. I think Troy is about to go somewhere because I started this conversation. What we, we on, man? We, we talking politics? We, we talking politics, man. I, and I, I think that's a, uh, that's a very good place to start because you are right black people we are not a monolith of of ideas right. thoughts Word. and things early. like that early not a monolith say <laughs> word <laughs> 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 So we're not a monolith. We don't necessarily have all of the um, 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 same ideas, goals, and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Um, are uh, I, I give I give him a shout out. Shout out to Drew. Um, I think the last election he was like, we have to, f- but as black people, we have to find some core values that we can at least agree on. Sure. That that we can at least aim for, and the other stuff we'll try to get on. The second end, you know what I'm saying? Like we have to fight for something because otherwise, with us being so spread out, we don't have a voice. To right. be quite honest yeah. with you. Well, well, the the fact of the matter is, man, people do not seek understanding. They simply go off what people tell them. We see this in every aspect of life, whether it's work, church, um, the political front, etc. They are expecting something 
from individuals in which that's just not how at a lot of aspects of politics work. Um, and I don't care, you know what I mean? You support who you support, et cetera, but um, don't come at me with a erroneous conversation that's not fact-based and that does not really speak truth to what is happening around us. So when you look at um, Roe v. Wade, when you look at other aspects of our uh, government that has been taken away after years and years of policies, et cetera, that have helped all people, and you look at a certain um, group in which these things hinder at this point now, mm -hmm. be able to speak th to those facts. Don't just say, well, I want this person in the White House because gas price is too high. Mm -hmm. Do y'all remember Bush? <laughs> Gas was about nine dollars a gallon, my. <laughs> like so, these are the things. It's like people don't, they can't, they have a short term memory, and a lot of the things that they base their belief system on is truly not based upon the office. Right, right. It's your state, local government, et cetera, that makes these decisions. But we don't. A lot of times, we don't make those connections, and it's really, it's really unfortunate. And just the rhetoric that's being used across the board when you look at, um, you know, individuals calling Kamala a DEI hire. First of all, you have to run. You have to run on somebody's ticket to be <laughs> VVP. Facts. So it's not like oh, we just picked this, that, and the third. So people can talk about her track record in the past, uh, those kind of things. Who has not done some silly stuff throughout their past that could have hindered them or hindered other people in certain ways? We are so short sighted and so quick to remember the bad, but not focused on where we're going and how these decisions now are going to impact us in the long run. Facts. That was really good. And I be talking about calling her a DEI hire. Some people were, were hired because of nepotism. They have no track. Oh, easy. They have no track record. Easy. In history of working in politics at all. No. But yeah, because yeah. my daddy or my mama, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. was in this position or my uncle, mm -hmm. then I, I mean, bro, two Bushes went through the, uh, went through presidency. Yeah. The second one got through because of his daddy. You feel me? Easy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but I ain't going to hold you, bro. If one could promise me lower gas prices, I ain't going to lie. They might get my but, ticket. But what I'm saying <laughs> is that that really <laughs> aspects of it is not the decision of the president. That's the sure. whole point that I'm making. People assume that it is, but it's not. They right. think that the president holds all this power to simply swipe a brush and shift things. And that's not how it how it's it goes. Um, like, look at uh, whoever's elected; they'll have access to, um, you know, stating these Supreme Court seats that that are coming up. That's a monumental decision that's going to be made, yeah. bro. Like, when you look at how the Supreme Court is um, functioning now and the things that they have dismantled at this point, we going to be in the nineteen forties again if y'all right. if y'all stop, don't stop don't playing. Tighten up <laughs> for real. So I'm not saying that you have to love. Um, a particular candidate, candidate, but at the end of the day, look at the 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 facts. You know, one, um, and even look at the the voting process. Most felons can't vote, but now you got a felon running for president. You do the math. Like I said, it is what it is, it but is you got to figure it out for yourself. Do some do some seeking to understand rather than just listening to the rhetoric that's being pushed by the media. And the crazy thing about the rhetoric that you're talking about, like cats will make a statement, say she's not even qualified. Go look it up. Where? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Where? Like, I mean, because if you're telling me to go look it up and I'm just listening to a whole bunch of people just rattling off at the top of the, you know, I'm just rattling yeah. off the top of the head, then where is the actual facts? If you got the facts, don't just say go look it up. Put the links in the comment. OK, I'll wait. Tell me where tell me where your sources are. Yeah, because I came up, you know, if your sources aren't credible. You See, can't use but, it. But I think, too, that is what the first uh, the first Trump experience has exposed us to nationally, where people don't seek truth. They do not seek truth in any way. They simply seek what an individual or a thing is telling them, and they take it as gospel. And that's why I said they don't seek truth. And if you really look up the qualifications for to become president— it's really I could run. I mean, anybody could. Yeah. So it's not like 35. so when people so, <laughs> so so when people be like they're not qualified based upon the we don't have a <laughs> based yeah. upon these things. A lot of people are qualified. You know what I'm saying? So, right. well, I will say this: we'll know for sure, not just how America feels about women, but how America feels about Black women specifically mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. November rolls around because. Uh, and you don't have to like, again, we, we're we not pushing you to like a particular person. And obviously we all have different interests and opinions on the situation. But 
you can clearly look at these two individuals and tell from jump that one of them is more qualified and suited for this role yeah. than the other. Mm-hmm. That is not up for discussion. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that, is, that is not up for discussion. You might like this person. You can clearly know that there's yeah. a difference um, in what could be done. And I just know for sure we're going to know how people feel. A lot of people may be quiet about it right now, mm-hmm. just like they were last time. Um, but we'll know for sure. And then at that point, depending on what happens, people will no longer be able to hide about what it is that they've been saying and what they feel. Right. Um, right. So I, I, it's going to be an important time. Get educated. I, I, we want everyone to vote. Obviously, vote. Use your voice or, or whatever, but get educated before yes, you vote. Please yes, please get educated. Get please. educated before you vote. Take please. the time. Do the research. Come to your own conclusion and your opinions. Don't just listen to mm-hmm. you know what you see in the media and stuff like that. And I know it's tempting. It's easier, low-hanging fruit, to just take what you see on the internet. Yeah. People, people lie on the internet. Mm-hmm. Y'all say that all the time. People be like, social media is not real. People putting up a facade. Then y'all get on social media and anything that's related to politics or whatever, y'all just latch onto it and believe right. everything that you see. Right. Get educated, do the research. Because um, I honestly, I was one of those people before. I didn't really get into politics. I didn't take time to do the research. I didn't even know the three branches of government. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, I'm, look, I'm being for real. Yeah, like, I yeah. could not do it. I could not yeah. have political conversations. People start talking about it, and I'd be like, I'll let me later. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not on that. I don't know nothing about it. Uh, so I had to get educated. I had to take the time uh, because you realize how important it is for everyone, especially as you get older. Yeah. You yeah. start to realize how important it is to do so. Mm-hmm. So I'm just encouraging mm-hmm. y'all to. Uh, get educated and whatnot. So I'm surprised Lace had that to say though, because when he showed up, my boy was ready for RNC. <laughs> my, boy was, my, boy was, my boy was ready for RNC. I y'all didn't see it. I messed it up. Y'all didn't see it. You would never catch me at nobody's <laughs> RNC. I'm nobody's My boy was ready for never RNC, y'all. My man came in. He had a band aid on the I ear. I did, because I almost cut my ear off shaving this morning. <laughs> he had a band aid on the so, ear and everything. Yeah, I said, oh, my boy, my boy is supportive. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I almost cut my ear off shaving this morning, but that's cute. That's my cute. boy is like supportive. I, I like said, what okay. you did there. I All like right. that. I like that. My boy protesting. You want to like talk that. about DEI hires? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about <laughs> old girl that was managing the Secret Service. Oh, I mean, man. hey, at the end of the day. <laughs> hey, you want to talk about some DEI? Hey. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy, though, because when did we get to a point where something like that couldn't happen? Bro. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, not saying that, uh, you know, trying to assassinate or take somebody out is a good thing. <laughs> right. But when do we get to a point where, oh, that just can't happen? Like, yes, obviously it can, but the way oh, that they was saying. roasting yeah. her um, doing the, the briefing or whatever on the Hill, it was just like, how, how did you allow this? Like, she was the one who was there doing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, granted, she has a level of responsibility. I understand all of that. But even the way that they was talking to her, throughout that hearing was just wild to me. And this is why I say people even in the workplace are going to be quick to find out. You can't talk to people crazy like this, you bro. Can't. Like, what do you mean? You can't. Like, it's wild. Yeah, but that, that was a crazy hearing. I will say that that was a crazy hearing. Hey, it had been nine days, though. Right. And she could not answer very simple, straightforward, and direct questions. Well, I, don't, I don't think she, she could answer. I, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, what I was about yeah, to yeah. get to. She could answer them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was trying not to answer them. Right. And that is why I usually do not like watching the politics stuff. I feel it. On TV. It's because cringe. everyone is literally dancing around direct questions. Right. Yes. Right. And if you want to infuriate my soul, dance around a direct question. Yeah, yeah, I don't I even know how they don't get to throwing fisticuffs in the in Yeah, the yeah, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. that's how I know I'm not suited for it. Because right. I'd be ready to fight in that thing. Like, right. you know what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Answer the question. Uh, you know, so we well, can you're not gonna get a straight. I know that's, I know, unless, unless that's, and that's the yeah. disappointing thing of yeah. it. We that's where we are, and and that's why I get frustrated. I'm like, this is where we are in politics, where we can't even be honest in a room about what What's is really happening, happening with, yeah. with this yeah. stuff. Yeah. So then, what and then that discourages other people because it's like, well, why am I even getting involved, right? If yeah. I can't get a straight answer, if we can't talk truth, why do I need to vote? Why mm-hmm. do I need to be involved in this process? And it don't do no favors for you know people who may be on the fence, right? Um, about should they get involved versus mm-hmm. not. So I just I just get annoyed with it. Uh, yeah. Mostly, and that's why I'm like, I usually don't pay attention to that stuff. But I actually wanted to hear what she had to say. Um, so I initially missed the hearing, but somewhere they replayed it. So I went back and watched it. And I was just furious watching it because right. I'm like, they asking her direct questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they, yeah. they was talking to her a little, like, not they, no they, little. Like, they was talking oh, okay, crazy. Okay. They was talking cash. <laughs> okay. They was talking cash. They was cash. talking cash. Yeah, yeah. They, they were talking, talking cash. cash, but I feel like to some degree it was justified because it was like, 
it's been nine days and right. you can't answer simple questions. I think they were just getting more frustrated with her as time went on because they didn't start off that way. Right. But you also have to, if you're at that level in any position, you have to have a certain level of acumen to address um, individuals appropriately, like to be cussing at a, at the hearing. And I think, like I said, for me, it's That's just, the, wild. it's just the overall rhetoric. Cause at, at one point when we were growing up and granted, we may not have been heavily involved in politics or paid attention like that, but there was still a certain level of respect that people gave one another, even if you disagree. Most right. definitely. Now yeah. it's just the wild, wild west. You know what I mean? Like even um, Trump calling Kamala crazy, using all these microaggressions and those kind of things towards her. That's why people feel um, empowered to do this stuff in other settings. And you see videos all the time where cats getting punched in the face or yeah. smacked around or, yeah. because they think that it's sweet. Nah, I, I, that is not sweet. We're not getting down like that. <laughs> So that's what I'm saying. It 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 it, it, it uh, empowers people to do a lot of things that they wouldn't normally do, but they see other people do it. They're like, okay, I think it's sweet. I think it's cool. Nah, not not over here. You might want to <laughs> you might want to keep that pushing. So hey, Lace, this is completely unrelated to what we're talking about. Yeah, but I need you to do me a favor. What? Make me a list of words and phrases that I can use to weaponize. Oh, for sure. The workplace yeah. or yeah. situation yeah. in yeah. my yeah. favor. Why? Yeah. Because. He was talking just now, and he used words like microaggressions. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, that's yeah. a good, like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, for sure. Like, give me a list of words that I can use. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For to sure. weaponize the situation. I think that would be beautiful. One for this life. week, word of the week, if if you will, intellectually obtuse. Are you that okay. intellectually Ooh. obtuse okay. 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 that we have to do have to have this conversation? Yeah, okay. Because this is crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> this, this, no, it's and crazy. I'm, I'm not dealing with you. I'm not it's dealing crazy. with you. But you know why they have to, why they answer the questions the way they do in those settings. But they're trying to preserve as much of themselves as they can so after this whole thing blow over, they can get a job somewhere right. else. But she was done for. They had an agenda. She was going Right, to, it was they, a wrap. It was wraps. You talking about she resigned, they fired her. But you got to think, see that, I know- I, <laughs> They fired her. I know a lot of times, you know, we talk about them landing, landing on their feet if something like this does occur. First of all, she was the the leader of the Secret Service. She's gonna get a job, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Most so definitely. I think we uh, sometimes we can um, do ourselves a disservice to to think that um, yes, there it is self perseverance is a thing. But like they can go anywhere and, and get a gig. Because first of all, if I'm the director of the Secret Service, the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna start my own security company, right? Well, and, and I'm well, I, well, well, I'm not gonna hire me you. Out. Hit no, me I'm out. talking about. Hit me I'm, out. Just talk, I'm just talking about. <laughs> At this point, who, who who's gonna trust your security? Company? Anybody would right. because this was not, this, like, this, this was a one time incident, thing. But this is a big one time. This is a thing. big one time. Get, it's a big one. I give it. It's a big one. But if you look at the the private sector of security, she could easily make. Well, I don't look at private. See, this is what I'm talking about. The list of words. I don't look at private sector. <laughs> <of security. laughs> I mean, no, they, you know, think about it. Think about the wars that we've had with other countries and stuff like that. Um, people selling weapons, developing uh, weapons, these kinds of things. What do you think they do in there? They have developed their own private I got you. industries I see, I see and those yeah. kind of things. They moving behind the scenes. So she could easily bounce back. She may not have a, a, a front-facing type role, but she could easily bounce back. Yeah, yeah you're right. right. You're right. Lockheed Martin, probably, you know. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Easy. So we off that? Uh, it was one other thing that I, I wanted to mention. Um, uh, I've been shot at before. It's not fun. Mm. <laughs> was you running? Was you driving? Was no, you... I was stationary. I was in a car, but I was stationary. The car mm -hmm. won't move in. Mm -hmm. And um, and like bullets was going past my my car. I mean, like one hit my driver's side door, which was I which I was in. Mm -hmm. it hit my driver's side wheel. One ricocheted off of my uh, window uh, in my car, and uh, yeah, man, it's not a fun, it's not a fun thing. And I ain't gonna hold you like I when I looked at when I looked at the whole situation, I was like, that's a hoax. And I was like, well, Troy, you've been in this situation before. Why don't necessarily classify it as a hoax? And I'm glad I didn't because then we later find out that somebody actually got God. killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, condolences to his family. And the fact that people would just jump to something like that, what this a hoax. is a hoax. This is a they, I'm just, right. They just what, but why would they need to do that? Yeah, yeah. Like why would they need to do that? I'm not, a, you know, I'm not a fan of his, but I'm just saying, why would they need to go to that extent when he already has his large following? Bro, it's tough to believe the things that you're seeing and hearing, and because what we just said earlier today, like 
we have to do our own research. There mm-hmm. are literally people who will manipulate media, who will li- manipulate the news. Yeah. The news outlets, they don't give you the information straight. They give you it with their bend or their angle. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's just really tough to to be like, is this real or if, is this not? And don't mention, not to mention how AI is looking nowadays. I'm, we, I'm going to end up, I mean, it's, it's crazy. So, uh, and then there was so many stories coming out. It was like, it was a piece of glass shard that actually got hit and it hit him in the ear. And it's like, nah, bro, uh, that joint real. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. messes his ear up shaving that morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, can, it can happen, yo. He messes up shaving that happen, morning. Yeah. <laughs> that joint was leaking crazy, too. It can happen. <laughs> It can happen, say, yo. Where my red tie at? Let you me get my man? red tie oh, with nah. this Band-Aid on you, my you, you'll, you'll never catch me at one of them functions, <laughs> ever. And then it was just like the 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 perfect photo opportunities then popped up. It was like, come on, man. Was this joint, was this joint stage? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, hey, I right. did laugh, though, when he gave the fist. Though. Well, the thing is... <laughs> that just made me laugh. A little. But the thing is, though, that is what is going to uh, give him, him and his followers that extra juice. Because now it's almost like... Uh, he he, uh, a demigod status almost. You right, know right, what I'm right, right, so, right, right. So, and that's the that's the unfortunate piece because it's a lot of sheep. Um, and what's crazy to me is when we look at what's on the docket, particularly like women's rights and those kind of things, reproductive rights rather. How so many women are supporting this? You know what right. I'm saying? And it's just it's just wow to but, me. Now I don't care where you fall on on the abortion piece, but I know when it comes to this whole you know reproductive rights and uh, freezing eggs and all that kind of stuff. You got to be able to know where you land on that. Sure. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. I mean, and, and that goes to show that not even women are monolith. You know what I'm saying? Sure. No, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, they, yeah. I mean, it's, it's different. It's different varieties, different perspectives, and, and things and things of that nature. So, yeah. yeah. Man, it was one other thing, Wild too. Wild times, man. Wild times. It was one times. other thing, too, that I, I did want to mention. What was crazy, though, the shooter, when they said that he tried to join his high school um Skeet team and he couldn't get on the squad because <laughs> he was such a bad shot. Y'all ain't hit it. Y'all ain't hit it. See y'all are, no. y'all ain't y'all ain't watching the news, man. Y'all ain't watching the news. Y'all ain't watching the news, man. Melvin, Melvin you are <laughs> Y'all gotta watch the news. You man. All right, man. Y'all gotta do your research. <laughs> y'all gotta do your research. So I said, so when talking about the hoax, when they was like, it was, in particular was a hoax, I'm like, out of all the people to interview, y'all chose the that was cut from the team. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm not laughing at that, but it's crazy though. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh. You you want <laughs> Here. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, Y'all ain't hear that though. No, real. I didn't. Right. So what, what was that? What, what, uh, explain it. So when they were, you know how they always after a situation or um, a major incident, they always do a background <laughs> on the individual who was involved. Yeah. So apparently from per the news source, he was cut from his um like rifle and shooting team yeah. in high school because he was such a bad shot. <laughs> so that's I mean, I'm just telling you what what the what the news said. Oh my God. <laughs> but even go even going back to the hoax piece, first of all, I wanna I wanna know why that oh. tickled you so so bad. <laughs> no, but I need to know that. <sighs> but start as rest in peace <laughs> to this young man. Yeah, uh, for is sure. Is it really rest in but, peace? I, just, why, I mean, why I wouldn't he? Lost he lost his life. We he only did. get one. I mean, but he right. attempted his life. He attempted somebody else's life. I'm just saying, regardless, of, which is regardless of who you like or who you don't do like. You know it. how many murders have gotten RIPs on the internet, right? He missed. So, yeah, I mean, they, look, yeah. Sa- safety, safety whistle dot. I'm not. I'm <laughs> safety whistle dot. <laughs> do you think he deserves an RIP? Now, listen. Uh, well, hold on. Let's back up real quick. <laughs> See, now, people define your whole life by one moment. And that's my point. One that's moment. That's my point. You define his whole life. Is he worthy of an RIP because of this one moment of him trying to do something, although it was terrible, mm-hmm. you just summed up his whole life with the sentence of, should we be telling him RIP? I just asked a question. No, but... You- and the reason why I asked the question is because for my shooters, in that moment, 
when they shot at me, oh, all of them got to die. That's fine. Like, immediately. And there's no R.I.P. I'm with you. F is F you. <laughs> all y'all. <laughs> My boy went National Spelling Bee on him real quick. <laughs> National so Spelling moment, Bee. In that moment, I couldn't say that. Now, mature Troy now. It's like, yo, I would love to have a sit down. Let's talk about that instance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can. Okay, so if if you saying you couldn't do that, so I'm, I'm just asking a question. But I'm. But the difference is, you were the victim in the situation. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was the victim in the situation, obviously I'm not gonna tell him R.I.P. In that situation, I'm mm-hmm. on. I'm on the outside. I'm an objective witness to this situation. So right. I my, terrible situation. I, I regardless of how you because I have no. Whatever into it. If I was Trump or the family of the gentleman who passed away, I don't have no RIP for that young man on that roof. It's F you. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, the, the, mm-hmm. based on what you said. Um, so I so to somebody somewhere is gonna be RIP. Uh, for sure. Yeah. Even your shooters. They got family and friends. If they was something was to happen to them, they gonna get RIPs. You ain't gonna be RIP. Right. And you you look, bro, your your desire for community and grace and forgiveness, I commend you. Because if you shoot at me, we into it till you die. I ain't sitting down with nobody. Well, see, this that's ain't the, no sit down. So convers- what happened? Uh, can you can well, you see, elaborate? You on just, that? He do be throwing out like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but let, let me I, let me I, I will I will give the story. But for for me, I understand that we were in different. Okay, so we have been afforded the gift of time that has transpired from then to now, mm-hmm. and I know that now is a different time than when it was back then. And so it's just like, hey, man, let's do a reflection. Let's grow from that because not only did I have trauma from it, I know y'all probably had trauma from it too. You probably regret some moments in your life. So let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. And it's an opportunity because I see a soul mm-hmm. who could potentially, you know what I'm saying, be reached. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the reason why I, I say that. But in that moment, it was not. Like we, uh, Statue of Limitations is done so we could talk about it. Like even after a moment, like we were... We were looking for ammunition. We were looking for all types of stuff in order to get our get back. Thankfully, we were not afforded that ability because um, nobody nobody was answering the phone calls. Like, we was calling everybody, yo, let me hold something, let me hold something, let me hold something. Because here I am, I'm 16, 17 years old, and I, I don't, I've, I've only shot a gun, like, one time by that time in my life. And that was when I was five, and my great, my grandpa let me shoot a gun at his house, which... Um, I told it at his funeral, and everybody was like, "He let you shoot a gun at five? I was like, yeah. "You always tell an inappropriate story <laughs> at, at the, the at worst time. time. <laughs> like, why was that a story to share at the funeral? Because it was hilarious. It was hilarious. So, how did you go from only shooting a gun one time when you were five to looking to, for ammo? Let me hold something. Let me hold something. Let, let me hold something, bro. We was trying to because we was we were enraged. So, first, what happened? All, you never tell, told us what happened. This is what happened. I was dating, uh, and I think I was sixteen at the time because of the. Um, I know how I, how old I am, based upon the girl I was dating. Time out, <laughs> time out, time out. Before T dot tells the rest of this story, yeah, he said he was sixteen. Yeah, when he was sixteen, yeah, he was also passing out Pizza Hut meat. Right, sixteen was a good year. It for was you, a bro. crazy. Year. What year was that? <laughs> what, what year was that? When you were sixteen, what been, year was that? Had that? To been like, <laughs> that had to have been like ninety nine, two thousand, two thousand. What, 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 what year was that? Two thousand. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, two thousand yeah, was yeah, a good year for you. Two thousand. Okay, yeah. it was like two thousand, two thousand one, something like that. And um, so I had a girlfriend who went to another school. And she was a cheerleader for the other school. So mm-hmm. we went to the game to go watch the game. And um, unbeknownst to me, there was a rivalry or a beef between some of my friends and some of the people at the school. Mm-hmm. But at that time, it's ride or die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't find out there was a beef until we were there. Um, so we had the game. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm watching from the stands, whatever the case may be. And nothing happened, honestly. And we was on the way out, and cats just started, like, yelling and barking at us as we're leaving. And we're like, man, you know, throwing up middle fingers, F you, all this type of stuff, all this type of stuff. The principal eventually just tells us, y'all got to go, and y'all are no longer allowed to come back to the school. We ain't think nothing of it. We ain't ain't coming back no way. So we get into the car, ready to leave, and my homeboys keep telling, keep yelling at them, come to Martinsville, come to Martinsville, and keep talking that cash trash. Didn't even think anything of it. 
we left. We go to a spot. Uh, it's right beside the gas station. We're hanging out. We're chilling. And we're sitting in the parking lot. <clears throat> and uh, next thing you know, uh, it was some girls out there. So we all, you know, we, we listened to Project Pat. You know what I'm saying? A uh, couple trees, you know what I'm saying? Got burned. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we chilling. Next thing you know, uh, a car pull up behind us. And all I heard was log town what? Now, let's pause right there. When you got to represent a town called Logtown, mm-hmm. you know we in the country. <laughs> you, you know we in the country. So many, I, I, I guess because geographically, I know where Martinsville is, so I'm trying to figure out what yeah. adjacent township <laughs> <laughs> caused such level of beef. Like, it just don't make sense. So I, and, I, and I'll tell you what it it, it was ba- it was all over it was all over girls right right like dudes calling other other dudes girls mm-hmm. talking to them on the phone and then they getting back pillow talking and all that type of stuff and eventually it comes out you know what I'm saying quit talking to our girls and it was just like because to be quite honest with you our city was known for Mister Steal Your Girl like our like Martinsville yes I, hey bro hey that's just that's just what it is. <laughs> It's, it's just it is what it is. And that's what they say. Hey, I, hey, I, that's, hey, that's, that's, that's what they, what they say. say. And that's what they say. Because <laughs> I have never. <laughs> because it was several. It was several instances leading up to this where cats would come to our school like, "Hey, quit talking to my girl." And it's like, "Come on, man, you traveled all the way out here." Wild. Never heard. You know of what I'm that. saying? Never. But heard anyway, of that. Uh, so I hear I'm in the car listening to Project Pat. I remember distinctly listening to Project Pat. And I heard, I heard Logtown what? I was like, what? And I looked out the window, and next thing you know, all I saw was fire mm-hmm. coming out of a um coming out of a car uh window. Somebody rolled down the window and all I saw was fire. And it's amazing how time slows down in moments like that. Mm-hmm. Because I couldn't even, I couldn't even, it took me like a split second to realize like what was going on. And as soon as I heard the uh like the metal hitting metal, I was like, oh snap, we getting shot at. So we just we all dug down in the seat. Thankfully, thankfully, prayerful, thankfully, no one was hit. No one was hit. Everybody made it out safe. Uh <laughs> they got cut from the skeet team. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Because he couldn't shoot. All Crazy. Right, so. Um, and and no one was hit. And here's the crazy part, man. Like, Somehow, some way, all of us are connected in this city. And here we are, we we go against each other like that when we all have like, it's like my my big cousin might be related to, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. everybody's connected somehow, some way. My my mama grew up with your mama or something like that. And it's it's amazing how being in a little fishbowl like that, like we can end up attacking one another like that. Mm-hmm. So that was the story. So over some girls. Over some girls. Which I figured it probably was, but you know. Yeah. Safety Wild. whistle dot. But safety my whistle whistle is that what turns you into safety whistle dot? No. Okay. Um, no, it was not because it was a lot of um other stories that came up after that, but I I I digress. Okay. As far as like sharing them stories. My boy Safety Whistle Dot is real. And yeah. I'm gonna talk about it now. Yeah, yeah. On it. What? What I do? Yo, the other day. Yeah, we got to talk about it. The other day. We got to talk about it. The other day, I'm minding my business. Uh Uh-huh. T-Dot sends a message. Mm -hmm. Says, hey, yo. Mel, check this out. <laughs> it won't no, it won't no mail, check this out. It won't no mail, check this Mel, out. Was, okay, all right, let me let me backtrack. Yeah. Let me start over. I was minding my business. Mm-hmm. I got an alert from Facebook yes. that said Troy. So I'm thinking that it's for the podcast. So right. I go look at it, and lo and behold, Troy has tagged me in a message under a post from North Carolina State Police. <laughs> <laughs> Making people aware that they are working on a speed campaign yes. for the for the month of July. Mm-hmm. And he thought the best way to alert me of said situation was to tag me in this post and say Amen. With the federalis. With the federalis and say, Amen. Amen. <laughs> check this out, bro. So I message him in the group chat and say, post my name on those state police. <laughs> Post and he like he he legit don't know what's wrong. He like what I was just yeah yeah. Just, hey, you screenshot that 
Right. And you text me and say, hey, Mel, they're going to be out here. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Don't put my full government name on no police post talking about some, hey, hey man, check, check this out. It won't just me. It was a couple other people it that he was tagged too. So basically, he and was then saying, he had the audacity to say, if I had Facebook, he would have tagged me. <laughs> I would have tagged you too. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> <Look. laughs> what that little boy say? Bush. I'm sitting there like, why would he tag me in that? Why would you tag? Hey, hey, yo, state these my these my. To be seen. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> if you need somebody to look for, <laughs> no. These are the groups that no. you and I could, you know, and no. I was like, and at first when I said it, I was saying it jokingly, right? Right. Yes. But I could tell that I hurt T dot feelings a little bit How? because the way you responded, he you he basically he used went one back, word. He did. He, like one bit, word. he did. He was okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. You gonna make me pull up his whole chat <laughs> right now. He did. He, he did. did. And then next thing I know. He deleted the whole post right. from the from the drink. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Yeah, he said, okay. I, I think I stuck I, I, I I I a little bit. First of all, it wasn't one word. What'd it was say? Roger that. Roger that. Yeah, <laughs> <what he> two. <laughs> two words. And then he said, delete it. Yes, yeah. delete it. Because yeah. I was in between something. Mm -hmm. I was in between something at the moment. And so I just want to make sure that I was engaging and not ignoring. Because as y'all know, sometimes I can... I can I can start a chat with y'all and then I'll ghost for like several hours. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean all of us do that every once. Yeah, cuz we're working. So that's the reason why. But let me bring you into the world of Troy <laughs> mm -hmm. and why I want to because they what they say. They say if you see something, say something. So I saw something, so I wanted to tell y'all what I see. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? Just screenshot what you see and then send it's it to easier me. Easier for me <laughs> to just Instead of tag me with the police, hitting two say, buttons, yeah, copy, put it in the. T Let me just mail. But you know what they go do? They go run those names <laughs> to see if they any open warrants. Listen, any. I mean, he well, here's, put, a, here's, a, here's another thing. It's like, okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> y'all right, y'all right. I didn't think it all the way through. But only thing I could think of, which is what you should appreciate, is. Troy's trying to look out for me. I did. Troy yeah. trying to look out for me. Mm -hmm. And he trying to make sure that I don't get caught up. And, and don't look out for me. <laughs> don't, don't look out for me. If I can. If, if that's I, the way you're going to look out. Don't do Don't it. look out. But listen, in my world, in my world, we are, we are not live. We like, I don't have anything to hide. So I automatically think that people I'm tied to don't have anything to hide. It's now, not I, about I, I, do, to hide. I do have some people that have some stuff to hide, which I would never, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But for us, I'm like, oh, my people like me, they probably want, they probably should know. And why would I let this information go past me without letting my people in on so it? So all, 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 all the good brother, <laughs> all the good brother oh, is no. saying, oh, no. all the good brother is saying, <laughs> come on, Lace, is that. Yes, he appreciates the lookout, but there's a different way to go about yes, the lookout. Exactly. Which I yes. that's all he said. Which I sincerely apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you trying to look out for the speed. This man could be have an eight ball in, the, in the house. And they looking up his name. And that's the thing. Yes. You shouldn't have an eight ball. I don't. And if you get caught with an eight ball, that's what you get. <laughs> be like, how I you don't. get caught up? Oh, I was on, on Troy, <laughs> Troy, 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 Troy. Troy dropped my name on the Facebook. Troy, Troy got me on the Gotcha Facebook. Troy put my name on there. <laughs> now he doing twenty five. Troy, Troy put my name on the, on the Gotcha the speed trap. Manly D's over with. <laughs> Manly D's over with because Troy got me on the state police page. <laughs> I'm just. Hey, saying, you know what? Man. I, I had two thoughts in that oh, situation. Yeah. The first was, the, well, three. Let me say three. The first oh. one was that I was completely ir irate that he would tag me <laughs> in such a situation. I was legit. That's the first thing I did was run to the oh. group chat to tell yeah. him, tag me in no dad going. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tag me on the police page. Yeah. Oh. That was the first thought. The second thought I had was, I don't care right. if they're going to be out here. They got to catch me. You mm -hmm. do your job, I'm going to do mine. Mm -hmm. Your job is to catch me. I don't care if you're out here or not. I don't be speeding. Your job is to try to catch me. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna slow down because they out here, which they have been. I don't they know if you see. Out, they bro. out, out. They out, they out. Are yeah, they are out. They, out. Are out. they, they are out. out, out. 
But then after I got with my initial iration, mm-hmm. uh, uh, is that oh a word? Oh, my God. No, it's, uh, it's I don't but it's a word today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a word today. Add that to my list. Uh, I was like, you know what? Troy was just trying to look out for me. Mm-hmm. So then that's when I went back Ooh. and tried to soften it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> soften it up. No, 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 to, no, Mel. What did you say? What did you say previously? You said I said what I said because that's did, what I, I mean. But I did mean it, but I but I knew how it probably and could I have affected your feelings. You. No, because didn't. I knew you were trying to look out for me. You was just trying to be kind and look out for me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what, Troy was trying to look out for me. Yeah, I didn't like the way he went about it. Right, but let me try to soften it up. Because I banged with Troy, but, and, I, and I, I felt like I heard his feel because he's like Roger that, and yeah. he deleted. It. So then I was like, <laughs> I heard Troy feel this. Well, actually, I deleted it too. I was like, oh, that's. But, but honestly, that's a, that's a really good catch because one of the people that I did tag in there, uh, I don't even know if they had a license to be quite honest with you. So <laughs> See what I'm talking about. <laughs> let me go ahead. Let me delete. License the whole suspended, thing. job loss, can't work. Can't do none of that because you want to be. How you got caught you Facebook? Be... So I would just let you know I will never be looking out for anybody. Just ever look again. Out Thank the, you. Thank, <laughs> thank just you. Just look out the right way. <laughs> thank you. But what? It, what is ever the? What is ever the right way? You know what I'm saying? Like and 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 no no no. I true true, true question. I mean I know that there is a the right way, but in the moment, like if you just doom scrolling, you not you not really thinking. You just you just look. That's why you, you know got to stop doing that. Yeah. You got to stop doing that. That's a good point. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Because I was scrolling last and night. Get and off I, Facebook. That's the other problem. <laughs> you would have never saw that if you were always on Facebook. No, Why bro. are you following the Federalis page anyway? I was not. <laughs> Who you know that? <laughs> following <laughs> the Federalis page. But it popped up for a reason, though. What it was is somebody had shared that. Mm. One of my friends had shared so it. So one of your friends followed the Federalis. <laughs> maybe, maybe they got it. They saw it from somewhere else. I don't know. But... Facebook is some quality, like good I wouldn't know. stuff, I wouldn't know. bro. The fact I'm not. That he put quality in Facebook. I, crazy. Listen, okay, listen. Crazy. I never thought that I would be one of those type of people, but I'm definitely one of those type of people. I logged into Facebook and I logged in just to just to try to. I'm a procra- I procrastinated. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get around from what I'm actually trying to do. I log in and this uh this person that I'm friends with. She started like talking about how her baby daddy is not paying bills for the kid mm-hmm. and how he got another kid on the way. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I ain't think anything of it until I looked in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Problem number two. Problem number two. And then baby mama number two was going back and forth with her. So I was like, ooh, this woman up. And I'm I'm not even kidding. I'm literally refreshing every 30 seconds mm-hmm. to see who's got a new statement of going back and forth. Cause now I'm invested. Okay. Now I'm fully invested. I don't even know these people. I don't, I truly don't know these people, which I need to go through my Facebook and start deleting people because I don't know who these people are. Anyway, eventually about a good hour go through that I'm <laughs> <laughs> refreshing Crazy. this page. It's wild. He spent an hour on someone else's post. It's 60 posts. It's 60 like back and forth messages on one post. Of course I spent the hour <laughs> on there. Okay, Melvin. Don't use my whole government. <laughs> I'll bleep it out. But uh so of course I'm in there. I'm I'm watching it. and then eventually the baby daddy get wind of it. And he jump in and he said and next thing you know, his emblem had a red ring around it. I was like, oh, going he live. going live. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. This cat spent a hour saying, bit, you, bro, bit, bit. I'm talking about, bro, of a whole hour. And I was totally. So I had never. I, 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 I don't be a part of lives. Mm-hmm. I don't be a part of lives. So I'm just trying to see who who is in the live. So I'm like, I, because I, I don't know how to navigate a live actual video, I'm just like, I'm just pressing stuff. I accidentally double tapped and gave it a like. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> you took it back. I took it back. Look, I was like, how, I was like Googling, how can I take back my, du-? because you can't take it back when it's live. So I had to Google that, and I find, eventually find it. So I why you ain't leave it? That he was obviously enjoying the content, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> but I didn't want to come off as if I was supporting what he was saying because he got at one point, he was so mad, bro. He said this at one point. He was like, see, I don't even want to say it. And people was like, no, say it, say it, say it. <laughs> By people, he mean him. No, not me, <laughs> not me. He said, now I understand Ray Karouf. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my goodness. That's when T-Dot hit the double tap. <laughs> I did not. I said, let me t-. I said, Lord, how do you take away a like? Because, because people I know were jumping in the live, looking at it, and I was like, I don't want them to think. I don't even know this dude. I don't mm-hmm. want them to think that I am liking what he's talking about. And so after, after, after a while, baby mama number one stopped commenting in his live. And I was like, I bet you she went live too. And she's got a live. So that was another hour right there. So then you went to her live. Then I went to her live, you know, because I got to hear the whoop de woo. You feel me? I got to hear the whoop de woo. That's crazy. That's crazy. So that's why I have Facebook. Just get cable. Just get cable. Because you on Facebook watching Zeus Network. (laughs) (laughs) But that's curated. That's curated and that's scripted and that's situational. This is real life. And I had I had I hadn't been, I hadn't seen, cause you know, when I lived where I used to live, there used to be a lot of baby mama drama. I hadn't been a, been around baby mama drama in a long time. And it was, it was just so good. So good. So then I had to, then I had to be like, wait, hold on. Father God in heaven, I just pray for. Oh her. my God. <laughs> You gotta you pray for them this names is, on the police. This page. is this is how I know <clears throat> T dot ain't learned from that gas station he has situation. Not. Cause the 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 big G told you leave people girls alone. <laughs> them niggas told you that. And yet you follow that you on live <laughs> BM drama and people you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I know people don't learn, bro. Oh my goodness. But yeah, that was some good quality entertainment. That's crazy. I have some good quality. Y'all need to stop putting that stuff on Facebook. And you have to stop putting stuff on Facebook, bro. Yeah. I've had family members go on there and start venting and stuff like that. And that is not the place you need to be doing that. Because one, people are going to gaslight you. One. So they're going to think you, some people are going to make you think you crazy. And then other people are going to gas you and make you keep going deeper and deeper into the situation than you, than you really need. And honestly, what you really need to do is go pull yourself back from the situation and go talk to somebody one-on-one and just vent there. Facebook is not the place to vent your information. Matter of fact, I stopped. Well, I ain't going to say I stopped, but I slowed down posting, like, me and my wife engaging, uh, like, stuff that we would do as far as, like, you know, going out to dates. Because when Facebook was popping at one time, you was like, you post everything that you do. Post your dinner, post a, you know, picture where you at and stuff like that. But I pulled back or even on that because... It's just like, I, I don't want to create a false narrative, one, of who we are. Mm-hmm. Because y'all, because it's so many people that said, y'all the perfect couple, y'all the perfect couple. I'm like, y'all don't be in these in this household when we be arguing with each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So y'all don't know, y'all don't y'all think we perfect, but we we go through. You feel me? So I, I never wanted to create a false narrative that uh, we are more than what we are. And I didn't want to create a, a narrative of we are less than what we actually are. And start putting my information. So that's the reason why the group chat is so important for me. Because I can be able to share and be like, hey, man, I need to get this off my chest. Mm-hmm. Facebook is not the, because, bro, it is not the place to uh, release all that information. Definitely not. Mm. You took us. Yeah, we, 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 t- we covered a lot. We, we, we covered we a, did lot. a lot. Yeah. What do you mean, I took us? You we, did, you did. Y'all asked me questions. You, you carried us, though. It's fine. I'm sure they're gonna enjoy this story. That you yeah, it was wild. That was wild story. <laughs> I mean, they gonna enjoy. It, I'm sure. Oh my goodness, where we at? I do want to say that um, that Melvin Brown is a hilarious individual. <laughs> I'm talking about hilarious. Please go watch episode 112, um, Midlife Crisis. That mm-hmm. is her. Uh, that is straight comedy mm-hmm. all around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so good. It's so good. Um, first of all, the the information and the communication that we had was really, really good. True. Just dropping, a, just dropping gems, and then on top of that, like 
um, the the fact that Melvin went to the point of saying <laughs> calling out uh, Lace. See, when the good brother. <laughs> See, when Troy talk, it's the good brother, but when I talk... That's how yeah. he do me, bro. Yeah. That's how they do me, bro. He interpreted for me today, though, so I yeah. appreciate, I appreciate yeah. him for finally adding me to the list. Two you know things can be true at once. So Two things can be true. It. But one thing that I did learn from that conversation, and I, I don't want to go too... Well, uh, one thing I did learn from that conversation is, I, I you're right, Melvin. Some people don't hear you. Mm-hmm. They automatically, because you talk really fast and you're very straightforward with your conversation. Mm -hmm. So immediately the person that's receiving gets on the defensive end. So they don't hear anything that you say because they're like, hey, I'm in the corner. Let me get up Mm -hmm. out the corner. And so if I heard you, I don't think that conversation would have went as long as what it did. Because I would have addressed the very things that you were talking about and agreed with you on uh, some of those things. Uh, but because I was in the defensive position, mm-hmm. I, I totally missed it. So, yeah. I appreciate you articulating that so eloquently on my behalf, T. Uh, and I'm mm-hmm. glad someone else has said it and now it's mm-hmm. out on the airwaves mm-hmm. because that's all I be saying. It's just that people don't listen to me, and then people be like, "I do listen to you." They, they get they get mad. T dot got mad too. He be like, "I do listen to you." Like, no, you don't listen. You don't listen to me, bro. Mm-hmm. People don't because, like you said, because of how I present the information or how it comes across, they just automatically assume about me, or they just so used to hearing me talk that they just like, "All right, I heard this before," or they just don't listen to what I'm saying, and it turns into a situation. So then I get frustrated because then I feel like. You're completely missing what I'm saying. You're not hearing me, and it's creating a situation that probably wouldn't exist if you was just listening to what I'm saying. Because you know the difference. If I'm trying to uh, hurt your feelings or whatever, it is, you'll know the difference in, the, in my speech. It'll change for sure. Mm-hmm. If I'm just having general combo, if I'm trying to make sure you feel it, you'll know. But people just jump straight to whatever it may be, not listening or whatever. Yeah. Now, the question is, though, because I said a lot in that statement. Mm-hmm. Uh, why does that person automatically get into a defensive stance? What do you present <clears throat> to put a person mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in that defensive stance? I think it's to the point that you just said. Like, my refusal a lot of times to... It's almost like the conversation we was having about politicians not answering straight questions. Dancing around the conversation instead of just getting straight to it. Most people are not willing to get straight to it. They got to go through layers. They got to have additional conversation to lead into what they want to say. They have to come with a softer tone about what they want to say. And I can just do it. I can just hand it to you. And because I'm just handing it to you and you may not like the packaging, you just jump to, I don't want to listen to what he has to say. So you're waiting for me to maybe present it a little softer. Or whatever it may be, I don't. Ha- I can't do that all the time. It's not gonna happen. I'm. I'm not. I'm not trying to make excuse for it. I'm just saying it's knowing me. I'm almost forty years old. Certain things about me are just who I am. I'm not always gonna be able to present the information with sugar. Sometimes I'm gonna be able. A lot of the time, I'm not. It's just gonna come directly to you. And the, I think the issue is a lot of times the only way that people are willing to listen to me is if it's presented with sugar. And if that's the only way that you're ever going to listen to me, a lot of times I'm going to have misunderstandings because I'm just not always going to, I don't know how to better explain it. I really don't. And lay it down. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 this, this, this is what I'm saying. This, this, Troy, whole, whole time I'm talking. And that's why I start looking at you. That's why I start looking at you because no. that's about to piss me off. The whole time I'm talking, he was like this. <laughs> <laughs> he could not wait for me to finish to tell everybody that I need a 30 day supply. I, 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 That's exactly. I wasn't going to say that. Uh, what I'm saying is, this is the beauty of working with the Lovelace Consulting Agency. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. Y'all just had a solid dialogue mm-hmm, around sure. communication style, around how things are presented and received. But y'all are both exhibiting the same behaviors as to why you responded a certain way. 
Mm. You said you responded a certain way. You went defense mode in in the way that the information was presented or mm. how it's presented. You said you would go, not necessarily defense mode, but you get upset if it is not received in the way that you present it because you feel like you have to present it in a different way for it to be received. Mm. That bo- bo- boils down to communication. Sure. How information is presented because everything shouldn't be presented in, with with sugar, but also going into it with the biased mindset of, He's going to receive it this way, or I'm going to have to give it to him, pause, this way so he can receive it. So that all boils down to communication and breakdown and dialogue. That's why this was a great case study. That's why I was shaking my head. Not because I I was coming at you a particular way. Now, uh, now hold on. Now, you got defensive. What? With his, what he was communicating with. It was just his his posture. It was the way that his body language was. It was real kind of. Well, you cannot tell me that if you was having a serious dialogue with somebody and you looked over at them and they were doing this, <laughs> that you wouldn't feel some type of way. You would be like, "I'm." You know what? Don't even worry about it. You would feel that way. But I think that's when it, when it, the, one of the best things when it comes to communication is you have to think the best of the individual that you are talking. To. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, regardless of history. If you're trying to get to a what, and and I get it when people show themselves, believe them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I go completely understand that. Um, however, when you're trying to get to a point in each dialogue, it's kind of like you have to start all over again in the sense of giving someone the uh, the benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And knowing that they have good intentions in the conversation. And that's why I said communication, how we communicate, time, place, manner. And removing levels of, well, I know Melvin, this is how he is, and this is how I'm going to respond. Or I know Troy, this is how he is, this is how I'm going to um, give him the information. Those things have to be, as you mentioned, a clean slate. You can't go into each conversation like that because you've already created a barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether that is, you know, internal, external, whatever, but you already created a barrier. That's why I was... I was just watching the magic because, like I said, this is this is what I do. Right. You see how we got there, folks. Wait, is he you taking? Is he absolutely, he is. absolutely. You see, you see he how is. we got there. Is he taking credit. He you, you, you see how we got there for what we did. You know what I'm saying? So I'll, let only, I'll let y'all do the not work. Only, not only, not only did he take credit for the work that we put in. Yeah. He also plugged his private consultant. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> so, absolutely, so, absolutely. It was like a because this is what this is what it is. <laughs> this is what I do. You see how we situation. got there? You know what I mean? Oh, that that happened right there. Understand me? I, I see how he did that. Yeah. But yeah. for the, like just for, for, for people who are close to me, for people who are not as close, this probably won't matter to them. But for people who are as close to me, understand that it is a real challenge and struggle for me to break down the information in my head live to the point <laughs> where... <laughs> no, <laughs> listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. Cause you gonna laugh. Listen, Lace. That you not giving him the because, no. I know why he's. La- I know why he's laughing. I know why he's laughing. But there's a reason why I said live. I there's a reason why I said live. <laughs> IEP Brown, my Yo, boy said this. There is to a break reason. it down in my head live. There's a reason why I said live. Like live in the conversation. Like live in the moment because. <laughs> The issue is, I have no problem getting the information from here to here so you can hear it. Mm -hmm. The problem is me trying to actively work on presenting the information in a way that is conducive to a healthy conversation. Mm -hmm. Because I've listened to enough people in close proximity to me tell me that they could appreciate it more if I shared it in a different way. So... The struggle for me is I have it up here and I want to tell it to you, but live in the moment, I'm trying to figure out how can I break this information down and share it in a way that is going to provide a healthy conversation. Yeah. So sometimes that comes across, though, like, you know, because... <laughs> Uh, this is why you just can't be, listen. This is why you be, can't because give space for people to listen. It, because it comes off as condescending because it's almost as if I'm like, I'm about to say something. I'm like, but it's like I'm trying to keep my, it's a struggle. Yeah. Because I really want to just tell it to you. Right. And it's frustrating me that at 30 plus, almost 40, 40, whatever, you can't just receive information. 
Right. And it has to come a certain way. That frustrates my soul, mm-hmm. but I know everybody doesn't operate like that. Correct. So I've been and, trying to yeah. work on how can I meet these grown ass adults in a space <laughs> that they, you know what I'm saying? So it that's the part that frustrates me in the conversation. It's not so much that people disagree with the thoughts or whatever it is. It's the fact that I got to, all right, let me slow walk this person through this conversation. Mm-hmm. But that's me, life let though. Me take it, let me take it this, this step right here yeah. when I could just literally say, say it right now. You grab a hold of it. We have a conversation and we move on. Right. But that, that's, that's, that's life. And I know we got to wrap, but um, that's really the, um, <laughs> the space of operating from an, a, a, just emotional intelligence, because uh, one of the tenets of emotional intelligence is empathy, understanding how somebody else is going to respond, receive information or how they do these things. Not necessarily saying you got to put yourself in that person's shoes, but thinking from a space. of So I understand it computes. You want to say it, but also if it does a disservice, if you just simply say it and it is, it can't be received in a way that can be applied. So that's why I was saying even in y'all's conversation the other week that at the end of the day, if understanding is something that he needs to actually execute, it will behoove you to simply take that extra step Put your personal whatever, I should just be able to say X, Y, Z and keep it pushing because that helps the relationship in the long term because they have an understanding. Now they can execute to a way that um, meets your satisfaction. And you may, like I said, you may have to take an extra step, but now you don't shouldn't have to keep coming back to it because they have an understanding and execute. So that's why I say emotional intelligence is very important. Not saying that because we all have a level of it, but being able to actually walk through it on yeah. a regular basis is, is, um, is necessary. Yeah. Really good, really good. Thank you for this case study, guys. This is this has been amazing. <laughs> He's taking this, full credit. This, 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 this has been amazing. <laughs> this has been amazing. DEI uh, consulting. That's you know what I mean. That, that's HR that solutions. You know what I mean. Team development, leadership <laughs> development. This is what we do. This is what we do. It would be easier to develop lace if lace ever presented struggle as something that needs to be developed. <laughs> Lace is a finished what product. Mean? What you mean? You see, we got scaffolding around us. We wear a, work, a product and work. People right, wear right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Lace is a finished tower. I'm not. Lace don't I'm have not. no, no I'm nothing. Not. We all need repairs. You know what I'm saying? We all need. The foundation is there. <laughs> but we all need repairs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all need the it. fact that you pulled that out. <laughs> You feel me? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, man, this has been the Manly D's podcast, bro. <laughs> and until next time, we out. Oh, man. Test, test, test. I'm good. Lace. One, two, one, two, one, two. Lace one, is two. good. Mail. If you like pina colada. <laughs> That's a random song. <laughs> That's what he be listening to. It's coming down the road. Go ahead. Yeah, you good.